There are good reasons to own a home, especially when one inch is closer to retirement. And this includes arguments for renting and owning a home to ease the worry of landlord knocking on your door demanding for rent. However, owning a house in the country can be a tough as a myriad of challenges are the order of the day. People have different preferences, people have different tastes. And some people are very specific. They want this area, they want this size of land, they want uh, this payment plan. So those are some of the key uh, factors that are going to guide someone to become a homeowner. The government itself is looking to provide its citizens low-cost housing, for instance, through the affordable housing program championed by the Big Four agenda. But those within the areas of real estates have more often than not lamented on government policies towards affordable housing. When it comes to now the building part of it, for most of the developers, they get a lot of, you know, some kind of harassment when you are doing the approvals. You have to, they, they, those ministers are very corrupt. So I will, I will not say they are doing enough. They can do better. I will say they can do better. According to Lesedi Properties CEO Geoffrey Kiragu, low-cost housing property solutions hinged on the government's Big Four agenda can be a hope for many Kenyans who are looking to have homes despite the COVID-19 disruptions. With the onset of the pandemic, most of the property owners reported a drastic downward shift in those seeking to buy houses as others reported an urban rural shift as most clients were running away from the congested city in light of the coronavirus implosion. This trend has negatively impacted housing development in the country. When the first cases of coronavirus were announced in Kenya, there was a lot of fear. People did not know what to do. People were being, um, they, they, some people lost their jobs. They got salary cuts. But again, there are people who took that as a chance. And they saw the need now to own homes. So I will say it was not that there was no uh, that kind of big effect. People are still buying even during corona. And what happened? People expected the prices to go down, but they never went down. So still, there was a group of people who saw it as the right time actually to own home. They didn't want to be confined in apartments where their kids cannot go out and play. So I will say, uh, corona, of course, it, it, it affected a lot of businesses, like any other business. The real estate sector was also affected, but there was still a group of people who saw it as the right time actually to own and buy land and houses. For those seeking to buy houses, the government land digitization move dubbed Arthi Sasa couldn't have come at a better time as the country is more likely to edge out the era of multiple contradictory land tenures and agreements as well as change how property rights are being handled. Martin Opio, K24 TV.